Syngenta Crop Protection Canada and CNM Seeds present the Wheat School on RealAgriculture.com. Peter, we're standing in a bit of a, uh, a dead spot in this field. Any comments about that? Yeah, so there's all sorts of areas, and, and this isn't actually bad compared to Essex County. Essex County, uh, South Lambton, the real heavy clay soils, they have big patches where all the, all the wheat is dead. Uh, this, this was a low spot in this particular field, and there's been quite a few plants die out. Not all of them, fortunately, but what happens here, or what's happening this year, it's kind of interesting, is around the edges of these dead spots, the wheat has still stayed alive, but it's not got a good root system, so we're really getting a lot of small shriveled kernels in the sample, and that's affecting our test weight. So our test weight has been okay, not great, uh, getting a lot of reports of 58 pound test weight, whereas you know last year we had 66 pound test weight. Well, if you have the same number of kernels at 66 pounds per bushel versus 58, automatically you're looking at over a 10% yield loss just from the test weight alone. So that's one of the reasons why our yield isn't quite as good as well as the fact that these small shriveled kernels are just because the plant didn't have enough root system to actually fill those kernels. Ohio's actually got this problem far worse than we do. They're talking about wheat as low as 54 pound per bushel test weight. That's really quite low and uh, yeah, big problems down there. And we would typically be above 60 in Ontario here. Yeah, we're pretty disappointed in Ontario most years if we don't at least hit 60 on most of the wheat, and often we're 60, 62. 66 is kind of unusually high, but to be at 58, uh, that's, that's lower than we would expect to be. So you touched on bushel weight there. Uh, uh, sometimes you'll hear about a field that uh, gets a rain at, right after you've started harvesting, and you come back two days, days later and the yield has uh, disappeared. Any comments about uh, what that could be from? Yeah, so absolutely. One of the things that I find really intriguing about uh, leaving the wheat out in the field, and, and I'm glad to say that most of the industry has come together and decided that 14% moisture will be dry wheat this year. Uh, in the U.S. it's 13%. There was an initial move that maybe it would go, or, go or 13 5 rather, there was an initial move that perhaps we would go to 13.5% moisture in Ontario. Uh, the industry decided not to do that. I'm very glad because if you wait for that wheat to be dry in the field and it gets a rain on it, what happens is you actually lose test weight. And you'd say, well, why would that be? It makes no sense at all. But it actually makes perfect sense because what happens is the first time that wheat dries down, uh, it has a nice smooth surface. And so with that nice smooth surface, the kernels will really kind of fit together really nice and tight. And when you do the bushel weight, you get a lot more kernels in there, so you have a higher test weight. Every time you wet that wheat up and it swells, when it dries down again, you get these microscopic wrinkles in the seed coat. So it swells up, it shrinks down, and now instead of fitting together nice and tight, it starts to have these wrinkles that kind of hold it apart so that it can't fit as many kernels into that bushel or into that, that measure, and we end up with less test weight. So we did some really interesting work at the Syngenta Research Farm on some pl plots over the last three or four years, and as what we found is on average, every rain, you lose one pound per bushel in test weight. So if you're at a 58 to begin with, which is kind of getting borderline between you know, a grade two and maybe getting shifted to a grade three for quality, and you don't get out there and get it off before it, it gets rained on, suddenly you're at 57, another rain you're at 56, now you have grade three or feed quality wheat instead of having good quality wheat. So getting out there quickly is really essential. The other thing that, that kind of I don't know, twist your brain. The other thing that twists your brain is there's some good research out of the US that would say not only do you lose test weight, you actually lose yield. And we haven't quite understood why you would lose yield. There's just as many kernels there and they would bulk up more if there's lower test weight, but the total overall weight should be essentially the same. Yet in the US, we haven't been able to document that uh, that uh, quite yet here in Ontario, we haven't tried that hard, but in the U.S. they would say that with every rain not only do you lose that, that bushel in test weight, but you probably also give up somewhere around a bushel or a bushel and a half in yield. And I, I, wish, phys I wish I could understand why physiologically that happened. I can't, but man, if I'm going to take less yield and less quality, get the wheat out of the field. Thanks, Peter.